One type of problem that people have a lot of trouble with, um, especially kind of in beginning algebra, I guess, is uh, those questions where you have two people and they're working on the same job and they can work at different rates and then the question is how long does it take them to do the job if they work together. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go through one example and uh, hopefully it'll help you kind of straighten out what's happening. So in this example you're told person A can do uh, an entire job in six hours if uh, they work by themselves and person B can do the entire job in three hours if they work by themselves. The typical problem is usually uh, two people painting a fence I don't know why. So uh, person A takes them six hours to paint the entire fence, and person B takes three hours to paint the entire fence if they work alone. But then the question is really, how long will it take um, if you hire both of these people to paint your fence? So they're going to work together on this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into rates. Um, so what you're really being told is for person A, uh, it takes six hours to do one full job. So that's six hours per job. And uh, that actually is the same as doing one-sixth of the job in an hour, right? I mean, if you think about it, the, he's going to end up with one full job done, took six hours, so one-sixth of the job per hour. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing here with uh, B, so three hours to do the job, which equates to one-third of the job in an hour. What's important about this is that now in the numerator of our rates, we have job, and the objective here is to finish one job, so we want the uh, job to end up in the numerator. So this is actually just a rate times time question. So rate times time, and then that's going to equal total. Usually you're told it equals distance, but um, it's really a rate times time equals the total whatever. Um, so let's see if we can work through that. So we know um, A's rate is one-sixth job per hour, B is one-third of the job per hour. So we know the two rates we're going to work with. Um, and then I'm going to let X be the uh, hours that they uh, take to paint. So using the equation, it's going to be rate times time. Um, so I want that. That's only part of it, though. There's another person working at another rate for the same amount of time. So also uh, one-third times X. And then the total they're trying to do is one complete job, so that's going to equal one. So we're going to try to find the value of x that makes that true. But let's take a look at the units first. Um, so we have jobs per hour and hours, and then jobs per hour and hour. If you go through and cancel out, you see you're left with jobs and jobs. So ultimately we get one full job. So we're going to solve for x, which has units hours, um, and it'll tell us uh, the answer we're looking for. So now it's just kind of some algebra to solve this. So looking at this, first thing I would do is I would factor an x out of uh, everything on the left-hand side. So x, and I'm left with 1 6 plus 1 third. Uh, and I'm going to combine those fractions. So 1 6 plus uh, 1 third is 2 6. So 1 6 plus 2 6 is 3 6, which is 1 half. So x times 1 half uh, equals 1. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2, um, or divide by 1 half, however you want to look at it. So I get x equals 2 hours. And that's how I would solve the problem. So pretty much any problem that uh, involves being told rates. So sometimes you're told, uh, I don't know, uh, you have two different printing machines and they print at different rates, uh, things like that. But that's uh, how you solve these types of problems. So I hope you find this helpful. Good luck.